Hey there, welcome to the latest episode of Hiker Homily. Today I'm going to talk about Muir, John Muir, and the word saunter. Some of you who are big in the hiking community, especially the online hiking community, um, probably know where I'm going already. And we're going with um, this quote that is often attributed to John Muir, but we're going to talk about that in a second. And the quote goes like this, hiking. I don't like either the word or the thing. People ought to saunter in the mountains, not hike. Do you know the origin of that word, saunter? It's a beautiful word. In a way, back in the Middle Ages, people used to go on pilgrimages to the Holy Land. And when people in the villages through which they passed asked where are they going, they would reply, a la santier, to the Holy Land. And so they became known as santierers or saunterers. Now these mountains are our holy land, and we ought to saunter through them reverently, not hike through them. John Muir. <sighs> so here's some things. Um, originally, I would see that up, and, and the historian in me would always have to reply a little bit with, well, here's part of the thing is, whenever you see a quote from history especially anything that goes back more than 100, 200 years. Okay, that quote is over 100 years old. <clears throat> the important thing you need to do, and historians and history majors like myself know this kind of thing because it's one of the things they teach you when you study history. Um, but a lot of people don't do it. Is When you see a quote that old, you must put it in the perspective of the time it was said. Okay, you cannot approach that quote with a modern perspective and apply the modern world to it. And unfortunately, most of the time when that's posted, it's posted by somebody who wants to be a little more special than everyone else. Hiking has become what it has become in the modern world. Whenever you say, I'm a hiker or I'm going hiking, people know what you're talking about. For the most part, in the United States, they know that means you're going to put a backpack on, you're going to go out into the woods or the mountains, and you're going to walk around for a while. You might be going overnight, or a couple of nights, or you're just going to do it for a day, but they know what hiking means. Okay, That's a modern term that has developed. It has... Um, oh, I'm losing my, my words. Um, it has evolved. Thank you, whatever brain cell reminded me. It has evolved into that meaning now. Now, in John Muir's time, the term hike <clears throat> was hardly ever used, and when it was used, it was used in a military context. Soldiers hiked. Hike was another word for march, okay, for the most part in his time. Um, and so, yeah, it makes perfect sense that a guy who just liked to wander around the woods like a lot of us modern day hikers do, wouldn't be in favor of a word hike. Okay? That kind of makes sense. So you have to put it in context. But here's a further problem. Let's see if I can find it. Here's, here's the problem with this. That quote isn't by John Muir. Okay? John Muir never actually said those exact words. We have absolutely no proof whatsoever that he did. Uh... One day, oh, I don't have it. There was a friend of John Muir who was having a talk with him. Uh, it was Albert Palmer. Here we go. I just saw it on the screen. Yay, Albert Palmer. Albert Palmer, in his book, The Mountain Trail and Its Message, in 1911, um, claims that he was talking to John Muir and one day... As I was resting in the shade, Mr. Muir overtook me on the trail and began to chat in that friendly way in which he delights to talk with everyone he meets. I said to him, Mr. Muir, someone told me you did not approve of the word hike. Is that so? His blue eyes flashed, and with his Scotch accent he replied, and then we get the quote. So basically that entire quote um, is attributed to Muir by Albert Palmer. We have no proof that Muir actually said that. That's basically Palmer claiming to get that quote exactly right. 
Now, did Muir probably say something within that exact gist? Sure, because as I've already explained, um, you know, the time in which Muir and Palmer uh, were doing their things, the word hike or hiking had a very different connotation than it does now in the modern world. Um, but for it to be passed off as an actual quote of John Muir is at best disingenuous. How do you like that word? I like it. Um, because it's really not a quote of John Muir. It is probably a notion John Muir expressed to Mr. Palmer, and then Palmer, for all we know, flowered it up or added to it or put a spin on it. We just don't know. Maybe he did, like, literally quote John Muir word for word. But we don't have any proof of that, and so you really can't say that this is a quote from John Muir. That John Muir actually said that exact thing that keeps getting passed around as one of his quotes. It's not his quote. It is a quote from Albert Palmer's book. And it's a claim that John Muir said it. But there's nothing to back that up. Okay? So we have to look at that. Now, being the historian I am, I did a little further research on the actual etymology of the word saunter. And guess what? The actual official etymology has nothing to do with La Sainte-Terre or the Holy Land or anything like that. Um, there's actually two main competing schools of thought. One of them is that it's an Anglo-Norman um, word from the Middle French, si aventure, to take risks. However, it's considered unlikely by the Oxford English Dictionary uh, um, to compare it to the Middle English en terre, which is adventure. Okay? More than likely, they go with the Germanic origin, um, with proposed cognizants including the German schlendern or the Danish slenter. Now we're getting close to saunter, aren't we? Or the Swedish siantra or the Icelandic Sientra. All meaning to stroll. And that kind of makes more sense, right? A word that is very close to saunter, and it means to stroll. Um, and when I did a little bit of further research, some of the entomology, where they, they do talk about the Saint-Tierre and all that kind of good stuff, The actual entomology is very obscure, and it actually looks like there was a, th a thing about, oh, these people are a la Santier, they're going to the Holy Land. The only thing is the vast majority of the folks back then who used to claim, we're talking about the Middle Ages, they used to claim they were on pilgrimage to the Holy Land, actually weren't. What they were were homeless vagabonds who would go from town to town claiming they were trying to get to the Holy Land on a pilgrimage because they knew to do so, people would give them some coin. And that's how they lived. They were homeless travelers. Kind of like the turn-of-the-century hobos that used to jump the rails and, and travel around the country and, and things like that. Now, I'm not insulting them. I'm not saying that being homeless um, is some kind of a thing to be ashamed of. Or like, oh, okay, so these people were bad because they were homeless. Um, but what I'm saying is, that's probably not where we got the word saunter from. Because uh, La Santiers, it was not always a term of endearment. Because even back in the Middle Ages, it was recognized that the vast majority of the people who claimed that, that they were called La Santiers, um, were not going to the Holy Land really. They were just saying that while they were wandering around the countryside so they could get some handouts. And people would still give them handouts because back then, you know, you, you, they, they would help things out. That's just, that's just how it was. And okay. But they had different words for people who were actual pilgrims going to the Holy Land and for people who were homeless but never traveled anywhere. They just stayed in a town being homeless, and someone who walked around claiming to go to the Holy Land, but it was generally widespread known that they really weren't. 
This is not a real pilgrim going to the Holy Land. They're just going from town to town begging. So throw them a coin and get them out of my face. Okay, and that was where that came from. So there's that. If you really want to be La Santier, and so that's where we got the word saunter. No, probably not. I, I go back to the Oxford English Dictionary where I, I really think that's probably the better etymology. Um, one of those Germanic words that already looks and sounds like saunter, probably thanks to English, <clears throat> because if you don't know, English is a mutt. Um, it pulled all kinds of stuff from the Romantic languages like French and Spanish. It pulled things from Gaelic. It pulled things from its Saxon and Anglo-Saxon roots. It pulled things from German roots and things like that. And pretty soon this all got muddled together and became Old English. And then Old English finally evolved eventually into what we have as Modern English. And so I really think that the word saunter comes from the Germanic root um, that we looked at there and not from this kind of made up term that was kind of used in the Middle Ages but definitely not in the way that Muir thought it was used. Um, and I'm not saying Muir lied. If he actually in fact actually said that that it was, since it was attributed to him that might have been something that the guy attributed to him kind of made up. Maybe he heard this story about the word La Santier and he heard it wrong. He was misinformed because our look at history, once we get more records, oh, we find a cache of diaries here or a bunch of letters there that totally gives us a new view on how this certain words or languages were used. We learn things and we learn to improve that. So in John Muir's time, maybe they didn't have that view of the Lausanne. They, they thought they were all the same. But we have figured out through modern history that, yeah, the term Lausanne wasn't always a good term and it didn't just mean going to the Holy Land. It was generally a term that they laid on people um, who were wandering around begging money from town to town, um, claiming that they were going to the Holy Land, hoping that that would get them a little extra coin. Okay? So there's that. I mean, take, take, take from that what you will. If you decide, oh, the heck with it, I really don't give a crap if that was really his quote or not, I like the term saunter. Yay! Then you saunter. I don't care. I'm just saying, if you're going to use a term, you really should know where it came from and not just get that from one source. A source that's lying to you. Um, you know, a lot of these things, like I say, flat out says that John Muir said this. We have no proof that he ever did. Actually say exactly that. That might have been his notion. He may have felt that way. Absolutely. That is, in fact, it's very probable he really did feel that way, but that's not exactly what he said about it because we're getting that third hand or second hand <clears throat> from somebody who supposedly was just having this light conversation. You know, and then that's the thing is how many times have you been out on the trail with a buddy or maybe someone you semi know? I know who that guy is. I've seen him once or twice on the trail. Hey, man, how you doing? Well, let me tell you. And he starts telling you about a topic. Are you actually going to remember what he said word for word and then at the end of your hike somewhere you're going to break out paper and write it down word for word and put it into a book? Mm, probably not. More than likely these two guys had this conversation and maybe that topic ca even came up and John Muir said something to the effect of, hey, I'm not a big fan of that word. Um, I kind of prefer saunter. It just sounds better and it has this nice Holy Land connotation to it. He could have said something as simple as that. And then this guy turned it into a whole big quote because maybe that's the point or agenda. Maybe this guy was anti-hike and wanted to drive that saunter agenda in there. We don't know. We just don't know because that kind of stuff we don't know through history. Um, but we do know that John Muir did not actually say exactly this, this quote. There, there's just no way to prove that. So take for that what you will. Is it a big deal? No. But it's a hiking topic I just want to want to broach because you see that post probably at least once a month on some hiking group online. They'll post this thing saying, John Muir said this. And it's, okay, great. And you always have these people who hike isn't a good enough term for them. They want to be more special than hikers. So I'm going to use the term saunter now. Oh, well, good for you. And they can. They can go ahead and do that. Go ahead, use the term saunter. Um, but, you know, I'm good with hike. Because here in the modern world where I actually live, I don't live in 18 or 1911. Um, in the modern world where I actually live, 
Hiking specifically means what I do. I put a backpack on, I go out into the woods. That's hiking. That's what I do. I don't have to put a fancy saunter word on it, so I don't. <sighs> Comments, any of that kind of thing, let me know as usual. Hiking for health, ca at gmail.com. Comments below, wherever this video is posted. And as usual, thanks very much for watching. I hope I didn't ruffle any feathers, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But in the same, I'm just kind of that kind of person. I don't like misinformation. And this is a kind of big hiker misinformation that's out there. So I just wanted, wanted to put that out there. Sorry to pee on somebody's fire, but there it is. I'll catch you later.